Uh, we know that those impediments uh, led to uh, some $20 billion reduction in our trade. The impediments. The impediments. The impediments. The impediments. The impediments. Shh. Be very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. Okay, cut. It's I'm hunting rabbits, Elmer. Let's try that again. Two thousand and twenty-four uh, will see us rolling out an additional three hundred thousand fee-free take places. This is, of course, on top of the three hundred thousand commitment commencements that we had in two thousand and twenty-three. Uh, we promised one hundred and eighty thousand and delivered three hundred thousand. A great example of us providing cost of living relief through fee-free TAFE whilst also addressing the longer term issues of labour market shortages and supply chain issues that Australia has to deal with in order to continue to put that downward pressure on inflation. Wasn't that lovely? <laughs> Our priority will be to provide cost of living relief whilst taking pressure off inflation. And I've asked Treasury and Finance uh, to come up with uh, further propositions uh, that we'll consider in the lead up to the May budget this year, following the MIEFO that we released in December. Uh, we also want to help more Australians live in their own home. Already 26,000 people have been helped in the first six months of our expanded home guarantee scheme. Queensland housing support services are seeing an explosion in the number of people living rough in the lead up to Christmas. Families seeking shelter resorting to pitching tents in South Brisbane, with the state's housing crisis showing no signs of slowing. Uh, we'll continue to strengthen Medicare and all 58 urgent care clinics that we promised would be open by the end of the year are now up and running right around Australia. And part of the agreement with states and territories to strengthen Medicare and to strengthen primary health care was to have uh, further support there. We want a future made in Australia as well. And we are looking at further measures in what ways that the transition to a clean energy future can lead to additional jobs being created here as well, through value adding, moving up the supply chain, making sure that we do make more things here, which is about Australian jobs here. And that's what our engagement with the world is about as well, uh, making sure that Australia's position is strengthened by our engagement in the international community, including with ASEAN, including with our Pacific neighbours, but also, of course, the enhancements that we're making to improve our trade relationships, including uh, the removal of any impediments to trade with China. Uh, we know that those impediments uh, led to uh, some $20 billion reduction in our trade, and we've seen that step up, and we'll see uh, further advances in that this year, as we saw at the end of 2023 the removal of some of the impediments uh, to some of the meat supplies uh, going into China. Impediments. Impediments. Shh! I'm hunting rabbits. Cut! Rabbits. 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 Rabbits with an R. Oh, this duet is starting to love me the wrong way. Impediments. Well, we ask them to give consideration to what are the measures that can take pressure off families on cost of living without putting pressure on inflation. That's the key issue here. Uh, if you were just to uh, distribute uh, additional cash to people, you potentially make inflation worse and therefore don't help to solve the problem. Australia is giving more money to Ukraine. More, more money. Today, Anthony Albanese announced that our aid to Ukraine will now come up to $910 million. You'd think he'd just chuck in another 90 and make it a smooth $1 billion. And that is after we've deployed Wedgetail aircraft and up to 100 ADF to Germany to protect military gateways into Ukraine. Here he is today making the announcement. Today I'm announcing 
that Australia will deliver an additional $20 million of defence assistance to Ukraine in the form of innovative and locally developed industry equipment. Uh, if you were just to uh, distribute uh, additional cash to people, you potentially make inflation worse and therefore don't help to solve the problem. The impediments, the impediments. Well, I'd like you to try and figure out what difficulty in speech Elmer Fudd has. Kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit. Kill the wabbit. Thank you. The impediments, the impediments. Well.